Welcome back to Cinemation Movie Recaps. Today I show you the movie Real Steel from 2011. Beware of spoilers. The film begins with a man driving his caravan car on a country road in the early morning. He stopped at the carnival, watching the people having fun. Then, the next morning, the carnival was silent and the man was drunk and received a call from a man who was chasing payment for a gambling debt. By this time, human boxers like Charlie were substituted by robots. Charlie had one robot boxer named Ambush, and it was scheduled to fight with a bull, but Ambush loses. As he was about to escape the carnival on Nariki, Charlie was followed by two men who asked Charlie about his ex-girlfriend, Caroline. The two men said that she died and mentioned that he should attend a hearing for the custody of his son, Max, who was a robot boxing fan who Charlie didn't have any means to communicate with. The child's aunt, Deborah, and her rich husband, Marvin, want to take full custody of Max, but Charlie was opposing and bargains for $100,000 half in advance. Marvin told Charlie that he can have Max for three months while he and Deborah will go on a trip. After the signing of papers, Charlie bought Noisy Boy, which he has to bring to Tollett's gym, owned by the daughter of his former boxing coach, Bailey Tollett. Bailey was irritated with Charlie because he wasn't paying her, and there is a buyer in the area. Marvin came to hand the money in cash and gave it to Max. At first, Max and Charlie weren't good at being around each other. But later on, when Max knew about Noisy Boy being bought by his father, he was shocked and amazed. Max shows his fanboy side towards this robot by always telling stories about Noisy Boy's battles. When Charlie thought that he cannot use the vocal response control, Max spoke in Japanese. Then, Bailey learns how to change Noisy Boy's language settings. Charlie bid goodbye to Bailey because he wants Noisy Boy to dive into the battle ring. He was about to start his caravan car, but Max grabbed his keys and began pleading to go with him. Max eventually convinced his father. The father and son went to Crush Palace and won to duel in the main event. Then, Finn suggested Midas and Charlie agreed. During the battle of the Midas and Noisy Boy, at first it appeared that Noisy Boy was dominating. However, the tables turned when Midas stuck back and Noisy Boy was destroyed. Charlie was paid because the head of Noisy Boy was being displayed in front of the palace. Charlie and Max went to the Metal Valley Junkyard, attempting to rummage through parts to create a new boxing robot. They were like playing hide and seek to avoid being caught by the guards. During their search, they saw many carcasses of old robots from many different generations. Max was on the edge of a cliff. Charlie warned him it was dangerous, but unexpectedly, Max slides off the cliff before he hurts himself. Max was caught by the arm of a robot. Charlie made his way down where Max is and lifted him. Max humped his father tightly due to the feet and saw a robot buried in front of them. Max immediately removed the soil and sand from the body and take the robot. The two went back to the gym having the carcass's body of Noisy Boy and the robot from the junkyard. Then, Bailey and Charlie argued because of what happened to Noisy Boy. Then, Bailey successfully tried to repair the junk robot. The junk robot named Atom was copying Max's little sways. She concluded that the robot was in the second generation, and it was obsolete, but it can still endure intense damage. Atom can imitate and handle the opponent's movement and store it in his memory because of its shadow function. Max took Atom outside and watered him with a water hose. After cleaning, Max asked his father if Atom can do boxing. But his father dismissed his idea saying that Atom is just a sparring robot. That night, Max turns on Atom and they run. That morning, Bailey mentioned to Max that she and Charlie grew up together because Charlie was one of the human boxers before her father trained. She was proudly telling Max about his father's history. Then, Charlie interrupts them and told that they'll be leaving Tollett's boxing gym and will be looking for an apartment. The two went on a Grand Palace event where the famous robot boxer, Zeus, was fighting. When they enter, Charlie left Max for a while. While waiting, many news reporters were running just to see Zeus and its owner, Takmashida. News reporters and cameramen were running and Max was being pushed by the crowd and starstruck on seeing Zeus for real. Max cannot hide his fanboy side. 
The next morning, Charlie woke up hearing Max training at him. After breakfast, the father and son went to an underground battle in a zoo with a robot named Metro. Atom won the battle. After that, Charlie and Max went to Parkway Motel to take some rest. Charlie was talking to Bailey on the phone while Max was busy at his computer. The next day, he was training Atom and playing music. Atom was imitating Max's dancing. Max connected Noisy Boy's vocal response control to Atom and persuaded his father to help him with his fighting move memory. Early morning, Charlie trained Atom to box while Max trained Atom to dance. Little by little, this results in a series of winnings in different boxing rings. Charlie was offered to fight in world robot boxing against the national champion Twin Cities. Then, an attendant came to them and Charlie and Max were invited to the suite of Zeus. A woman welcomed them and introduced Takmashido, who was playing games on his phone. The woman directly said that they want to buy Atom. She offered a large sum of money, but Max wasn't happy about what he heard and immediately declined the offer. The battle between Atom and Twin Cities began. Atom attacks, but Twin Cities takes the offensive effortless. Then, Charlie notices that the Twin Cities always throws right-handed punches, and because of this, he controlled Atom and made its wins by a knockout. And due to overwhelming happiness, Max challenges the global robot champion Zeus. After the fight, Charlie and Max were robbed by Ricky and his two assistants. Also, they beat Charlie for bailing. He was bruised and Max took care of him. The next morning, Charlie gave back Max to his Aunt Deborah and Uncle Marvin. Max doesn't want to go because he wants Charlie to fight for him. But Charlie wants Max to have a better life and he cannot give it to him. Max left upset. After giving Max back to his aunt, Charlie went straight back to Toilet's boxing gym and found Bailey sleeping and went on the other side. Morning came, Bailey and Charlie were talking about these past events. While talking, Bailey and Charlie kissed, showing their affection to each other. Bailey persuaded Charlie to arrange a challenging battle with Zeus that Max wants. He also convinces Deborah to allow him to watch the battle. The battle between Zeus and Atom was the talk of the town. Both robot boxers and their owners were being bombarded by the reporters and cameramen. They say that this battle is like David and Goliath. Takmashido and his team were the first ones that came into the arena, followed by Charlie and Max with Atom behind them. Outside the arena, Ricky made a $100,000 bet to Finn saying that Atom would not last in the first round. Then the battle begins. Zeus took the dominance, knocking down Atom in the first round. Atom continued to get back up despite the hits he sustained from Zeus. And Atom survives the first round. Ricky who made a $100,000 bet was now trying to escape, but was caught by the fight bookmakers. As the round passes by, Atom receives multiple punches from Zeus and continues to get knocked down often. Late in the fourth round, Atom's vocal response controls were broken. Max was forcing Charlie to use the shadow feature of Atom and his boxing skills that Atom will mimic. Zeus was now operating on a low battery while Atom was looking for more punches. Zeus resisted Atom, but it slowly lost its strength due to the depleted battery level. It was the time that Atom attacked. He dealt Zeus the multiple punches. Then, Tak takes control of his robot manually. Max and Bailey were admiring Charlie while showing his boxing skills. They both had teary eyes and after multiple punches, Zeus was knocked down. The whole crowd was cheering but Zeus get back up, was saved by the bell. They were all happy for Atom, but they announced that Zeus was still the winner. The crowd wasn't happy about the decision, but the crowd loves how Atom fights and was named the people's champion. Charlie and Max were happy for each other, as well as Bailey regardless of the result. Thank you.